Greetings fencers, today we're going to go through the four slices. Now the slices serve two purposes. One is to control your opponent in close distance, and the other is to harm the inside forearms. The muscles and tendons there are what allow you to make a fist and must be protected. For a good slice, it shouldn't just be making contact, it should be constant pressure to fully gain control with either drawing or pushing. In these instances where we want to control the weapon, pushing to the strong of the blade will be a safer form. And the more exact translation for schnit or schneid is cut, but cut was already taken so we use the word slice instead. The overslice is going to be the most common and safest slice in today's HEMA environment. If anyone tries to leave the bind, cut around, run off or take off, instead of focusing on the blade to parry, step in and off line and push down on their arms with the long edge. Make sure your arms are straight to use your skeletal structure, otherwise they may push through your arms and hit you. Once you've made the slice, you can slice off retreating, strike up to the head, or enter in grappling. Whenever someone tries to enter close distance hard, with the pommel or cuts, the bind forces hands up, or they try to use crown, then slice under their pommel, straightening your arms, use the long edge for the left and short edge for the right. Now the underslice is a little harder to get. Most HEMA practitioners know not to let their hands go above their head without good reason. And without a sharp blade pushing on someone's arms, it's easy to just go through and push their sword and hit the person trying to underslice before they can straighten their arms. Without protection and using sharps, this might still be physically doable, but would require a lot of determination and a big scar. I think someone would be more likely to retract their arms, giving the slicer an easier time pushing up. Once you've completed the slice, if enough tendons were cut, they may have to drop the sword. And if not, you can hold their hands up with the left and thrust or cut with the right. Here we have three examples of under slices. The first one you can see me get solid contact on his wrist. Now there's multiple reasons this failed, but the primary one is he pushed his wrist hard into my edge. In strong and weak terms, that is like the ultra strong of a sword. However, the wrist is quite vital. This next one I did manage to get my arm straight fast enough and have my force optimized. My partner is still pushing as hard as he can into my edge. I was also pushing with all my strength in order to not break, and once he realized he won't get through, he goes for an undercut. This last one is the gold match at VHG 2019. Here you can see Orange drop under for a slice. His sword however lands too far up the arms, meaning Black can easily force through it and bend Orange's arms, striking the head afterwards. All three of these examples are exchanges that I think would have ended quite differently in a no sleeves sharp sword environment, but it's all speculation. Now the exact lines of the Zettel always confuse me here, but after reading many transcriptions and translations, my inference is the to flatten, zu flächen, refers to pushing them down, and pressing the arms or hands is how you accomplish this. Some translation make it sound like the flat of the blade. If we happen into the under slice from any possible scenarios, we then have the option of transforming the slice instead of pushing up. We step away from their sword as we push over their arms to the side. If you're in having trouble practicing, try doing it from the onset and have your partner just parry and crown or hanging. This will help you get the movement down before putting it in between motions. Slicing is most often going to be an indes action, used in between large actions by your opponent. Feeling if your opponent will leave the bind or go up, then moving to the arms instead of the blade but you can enter into slicing at the targets in the before if your cut or thrust doesn't succeed as you'd like. Thanks for watching, keep studying, keep practicing. Pardon? I hit myself. Oh, hopefully you didn't see that. Okay. Didn't see that. You can do that again. <laughs>